In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make good quality videos of your sequences in XLights. Now, you've probably all tried to use the feature built into XLights that is this export house preview video. Now, that's absolutely fine, but what you'll have discovered is it can tend to produce videos that are really dim. And uh, if you want to improve on that, I'm going to quickly show you. Now, this is much better if you have two monitors because it'll make things, your life a lot easier. But I'm going to show you how to do it on a single monitor. So the first thing we need to do, I've got my house preview here and I'm going to pull it out and I'm going to make sure I hold the control key down at the same time so that, you know, it doesn't redock. And I'm going to make it just as, as, you know, as big as I can really get it on the screen without causing too much of a problem. Okay. So, and then I would zoom in and move around my house preview. Now, the tool I'm going to use is a tool called OBS. And that is a tool I'm using to record this actual tutorial. So I'm going to run a second instance. Now, I will get a few warnings here because I am running multiple versions, but you won't get this. Okay. I'll just give this chance to settle down. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is create a new scene. And I'm just going to call this X Lies. Okay, and you see now I've got a scene here. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add window capture, sorry, video display capture. Okay, and I'll call this X, X Lights House. Okay, and now I must point it to the appropriate monitor. So at this moment, it's pointing to my second monitor. I'm going to point it to my primary monitor. So now it's going to pick up everything I do on here. So I'll click OK. So now I'm capturing the entire screen. But I'm just going to move this out of the way a little bit. Okay, so that uh, you can see what I'm going to do. Now, now what I need to do is, all I'm interested in the, is the house preview part of the screen. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to press the Alt key and move these drag handles. And this will allow me to crop the image. And I'm just going to crop into where the house is. Okay, so if I come in, you can see it's here. Ignore that I'm capturing a bit of the OBS window, then we can worry about that later. Okay, so I'm now gonna let go of the Alt key, and now I'm just going to drag the zoom in. Okay. Now, more than likely, your display will be, you know, have more width to it than uh, mine has. Actually, I didn't get my mega tree there, so I'll go Alt and pull into the tree. Okay, so I've got all these items, and I'll move it to center. Now, I'm just going to move my OBS window as, as much out of the way as I can, but still so, still so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you can see what I'm capturing there. Now... I need to correct this dimness problem. So what I need to do now is on here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select filters. Then I click this plus key and I'm going to select color correction. Now here I can increase the gamma and you can see if I increase and decrease the gamma, it increases the brightness. So you can play around with this. Then you could put a bit of contrast in there as well. And you can adjust this to your heart's content, okay? But that will do me for now. Okay, and you can see how this OBS window is now really bright in comparison to the actual OBS window. Now, what you then must do, you must set up your desktop audio so that uh, if we click here, you can see, if I click properties, you can select what which of your desktop audio it's going to record. I've got mine set to my USB device. And then all you need to do is move your OBS well out of the way of the recording area. I'm going to move it onto my second screen because it's just trying to dock there. But you imagine uh, you've just got it at the side of the screen. Okay. And then when you're ready to record, okay, I'll bring it back on for, for now. You would just click start recording. Okay. And then you would click play here. Obviously, you know, I'm going to move this out of the way and do that. And then all you do is watch your entire sequence through. 
and it will record it nice and bright. And then all you need to do then is go to your videos folder and you'll find the recording. Now, I didn't cover settings about how you actually set record quality, things like 1080p and things like that, because there's lots of videos on how to actually configure the output resolution on OBS. So have fun with this and uh, hope you find it useful.